Um, there's a few things you need to look out for. We do have a left hand brush and a left hand chain. The uh, left hand chain will have a green zip tie on it or green packaging on the box when you get it out. Um, the right hand side will have a red zip tie or red packaging on the box. Um, so we want the right hand blocks on the right hand chain, the left hand blocks on the left hand chain. You can get these yield saver one of two ways. You can get them unassembled or you can get them assembled from us. Either way, when you go to replace your brushes, you're gonna to need to know how to correctly install them. I'm gonna show you that here today. We're gonna start with the regular block. Um, you have a, the tab in the back, the lip on the chain. You're just going to slide the block onto the chain. You're gonna take your screw, it's a T25. You're gonna go down through the brushes and you're gonna screw the block in that way. Make sure you do not put the screw through the underside of the chain into the block. That will not work. You will continue this process for the rest of the blocks on your chain. Moving on to the crop lug, it's a two-piece crop lug that you're going to have to attach together. So you have the attachment block and the brush block. They go together, slide through the groove, and they should look just like this. Then you're going to install it onto the chain, slide it down. Whichever side chain you're doing, this crop lug should be facing up. And your two screws will go through the back of the attachment block. Make sure when you're screwing these in, you do not over tighten them because you can strip this bolt out. Now that we have our brushes and crop lugs onto our chain, we're gonna go ahead and install the chains onto this row unit. Uh, for this example, we're gonna be using a 600 new John Deere row unit for these yield saver. Um, they go on just like a normal chain would. So remember that the left side, left and right side is from the combine seat. So we wanna put our left side on. The long bristles always go to the top. So as we put our other side on, we want to make sure to stagger our crop lugs. That's about halfway, that's where we want those. You may have to get a pry bar to help you get around that bottom sprocket. That's what it should look like before we tighten them up. Okay, now that we have our chains on and our crop lugs staggered, um, we're ready to tighten these up. 15 sixteenths on the tensioner. We're gonna run these in until we leave about an eighth inch of a gap on our tube right here on our spring. We just tighten our stop nut up. We'll do the other side. When we tighten up this side, this row for yield saver is complete.